and we'll get to this bad boy in a second just to give you guys a, just a little update on what's happening or what is going to happen. But anyways, we are back on the poor man's GTR episode 22 and I'd like to say welcome back to the Broken Sylvia YouTube channel where today we're going to be repainting the R34 body. As you can see, we are in the vlog mode today where I don't have my friend helping me uh, film. So it's gonna be between this and the tripod. I wanna give the video a bit of an introduction. There was just so much footage of us actually painting. So don't stress about me talking through the whole video, but I just wanna explain what there is to come and why we are doing it. So, Previously, I explained what spray guns we used, what painting supplies we used, the gun settings, other tips, tricks, techniques, ideas and stuff. Um, while in this episode, there's no point of covering the same topic, so we're just moving forward and we're almost making it a three-part painting series. So I did say we are going to do a two-part series where today is the second video, but I've ditched that idea and we're going for three episodes to further explain and further show the footage of what is going on step by step without cutting corners. Uh, people did appreciate the videos and I'm very happy to hear that. Got a bunch of messages on the Instagrams and in the comment section as well, people saying they enjoy the in-depth um, explanation. Obviously a video as such will never get nowhere near as many views, but I uh, get greater satisfaction from people actually giving it a shot themselves. And painting is one of those topics that people think you almost have to be very specialized in the industry to get a great result and I totally disagree with that um, YouTube is honestly I really strongly believe that YouTube and Google is like the best education ever but as for the Supra we've made a start so I've started slowly sourcing some body panels I've pulled the front subframe of course just like any of our cars I, uh, I either crash them or I buy them crashed so we're gonna have to fix them but it's gonna make for a great rebuild series I'm taking it easy, you know, I'm not going to stress about it too much, chip away at it over time. And now you're thinking, why are you starting another project when you haven't finished the Sylvia or the Skyline? And as you can see, there is something missing off the lift that is red and bright and broken. So that probably explains that, but we'll get to that one day. As for the Skyline, my cylinder head is finally back from the machine shop. So we're going to slap this back onto the car very shortly. And we're going to have a, another car that is not broken. So then we can just dedicate all our time into the piece of shit two-door Camry that the internet likes, also known as the Supra. So with the first batch of parts all painted up and baking in the spray booth, Sam and I started slowly masking up the car while Jaden brought us lunch. Once lunch was over, we took all the freshly painted parts outside the spray booth and pushed the car from the prep bay into the spray booth to further mask it up and get it ready to start painting. So 
are you doing now, Sam? Um, just dropped a sheet over. It's the quickest way, cleanest way of masking, I feel. Yeah. Um, people out there do it a lot quicker than me and cleaner than me, but um, yeah, this is the way I do it. So quick, easy, simple. Yeah. Cheaper. Cheaper. That's Cheaper. what we want. Yes. So right now we're mixing up another batch. Um, so we've got one ready to go, it's full, and we're just gonna mix up another full cup. That way, um, yeah, when we run out of the first cup in the booth, we just throw the second one on and we can just keep going, keep everything nice and wet, nice and even, and then hopefully the two pots will do the whole car, meaning we come out for a few minutes, mix up our clear, and we're ready to go back in to clear coat the whole car. All right, so just a quick interruption. I wanna cover the topic of control coding or drop coding really quickly. It is pretty much one of the biggest or essential things to getting a nice finish with a metallic paint job and a massive reason why I stuffed up the previous paint job. So what is drop coding? This is a metallic color as you can see. There's sparkly stuff through it. Um, it is called Bayside Blue and the color code is TV2 for anybody wondering and you have to spray it in a different way compared to let's say the Sylvia. The Sylvia is a Ford Mustang color. It's a solid color. The color code for it is PQ if anyone's wondering and with that red color um, there's no metallics. It is just red and you put clear coat over the top and the job is done. Um, so with this metallic color we are using the Spice Hacker Waterborne base coat. So even though it has amazing coverage and we're able to achieve full coverage within one coat, there's just an extra little step we need to take to make sure that that coat that we just put on is not stripy or patchy. And that is called a drop coat or control coat. So all you do is while the panel is still wet, you quickly mist on another coat of base coat straight away. Because if you mist on the base coat onto a dry panel, you have not achieved what it needs to do you're going to be left with a rough sandpaper finish. To get a nice smooth finish, everything has to flow, everything has to be wet, whether it's your clear coat or your base coat. So you can see us almost sectioning the car off, where we do the, we, we do the door jam, then we do the quarter panel that runs into the boot, then we do the pillar, then we do half the roof. We don't do the entire roof, we do half the roof. Um, and that is just to keep everything nice and wet, nice and flowing. So once I, once I spray the quarter panel, I straight away drop coat that quarter panel while it is still wet. So all I do is I move the gun back maybe 10 or 15 centimeters and I move really quickly and the mist just falls into the wet paint and it's done. It is done, you don't have to come back to it anymore. So you don't do the entire roof and then drop coat it because it's slowly starting to dry and stuff like that. So you only do half the roof 
And for anyone wondering why the car looks dull, it's not dull, it's just freaking sandy and dusty from working on the Supra. Sorry for the interruption, but it's important. So interruption number two has everything to do with spray painting this roof. Now this Bayside blue color, when teamed up with the Spice Hecker water base uh, paint system, is actually quite forgiving, but if you've ever sprayed silver, or if you ever watched people spraying silver, they always complain how it's very hard to color match, that putting an extra one or two coats can increase the depth and um, the darkness of the color as well. So what I'm trying to say is when I, when I was spraying the roof, as you can see, I've got freaking long arms and it's a small car. I pretty much got 75% of the way, which I wasn't supposed to do. I was just supposed to go past that 50%, drop coat it, and then move on to the other side and pick up where I left off. Instead, what I did is I went 75% of the way there and then when I came around the other side, I started from 50. So I'm doing this 25% once again. And if this was a silver or any other type of color that isn't very forgiving, there is a high chance that this 25% right here would have received two coats of paint, meaning there is more material on it and it would have maybe been darker down this strip of the car compared to here and here. Okay. 